Hello guys, welcome back to Fundamental STEM and in today's video is going to be the first of a 14 part series where I'm going to show you guys how to draw shapes in Scratch. I'll be putting the video up every day so remember to click back to the channel but if you click subscribe and click the bell you'll get a notification of when a new video goes up. So for this video what we need to do or for this project what we need to do is get rid of the cat because we won't be needing him. So let's click X on the cat and click into our library and I'm going to use the pencil. So let's scroll down and find our pencil. There we go, it's the pencil. And um, before we get coding, I'm going to go into the costumes. I'm going to get rid of the second costume. And also, I'm going to click left button on my mouse and drag this box around to highlight the whole pencil. Because the pencil is centered in the middle of the pencils on the crosshairs of the actual uh, drawing stage. So if we were to code right now and it was the pencil was to draw, it would look like the line that it was drawing was coming from the center of the pencil. So if we drag the pencil so that the tip of the pencil is on the crosshairs, it'll look more like the pencil is actually drawing. So that's what, well now that that's done, we can do some code. Let's start off with an event. When the green flag clicked, I'll zoom in on that code just to make it a bit clearer for you guys to see. Then we want to tell the pencil where to start. So I'm going to say 0 and 140. So 0 in your X and 140 on your Y axis. Then I'm going to tell it to point in the direction of 90 degrees. Now we need some pen blocks and the pen blocks aren't available here anymore on the side. What we need to do now is go down here to this blue box to add extensions. And there's the pen functions there. So now we have our pen blocks. So we can add them in. First thing I wanted to do is to lift the pen up because we don't want to make a mark uh, before we've actually started drawing and we want to erase everything that may have been on the screen before because this is obviously when you do draw a circle you're going to then want to draw another circle so you have to erase the previous one. So we're going to erase all. Then we're going to set a few things so I'm going to set the pen size I'm going to set the pen size to 5 and I'm going to set the pen color 50 will do, we'll leave it at 50. Then we're done and we've, we've made all our, our changes and settings that we need in the pen function, we can put the pen down and we're ready to draw. But we need to tell it how to draw a circle. So the next thing we're gonna need is from our controls, we're gonna need a repeat block, a repeat block. Now a circle is made up of degrees. It's like taking a big slice of cake taking a big piece of cake and chopping it up into 360 slices. Each slice is called one degree. So what we need the pen to do is to go around each one of these 360 slices. So it's gonna do this, it's gonna repeat the process 360 times. And the process it's gonna repeat is in your motions, it's going to move forward one step. So we change that to one step and turn one degree turn one degree so it's going to move forward one step turn one degree and it's going to do that 360 times so effectively it's going to start at the very top and it's going to work its way around and that's how we're going to end up with our circle okay so let's I'll zoom out a little bit you can have a quick look at that code as it is in full so that's that code now I'm just going to stick a backdrop on here as well actually I should have done that at the beginning but Sure, we can do it now. And the backdrop I'm gonna pick is the wall. So that our, our graphics kind of, our, our drawing, our, our pencil drawing kind of looks like graffiti on there. So let's give that a run. And we have a mistake. I made a mistake. I put pen up in there. That's what's wrong. So I had to pull that apart. Let's get rid of that. I made a mistake. I meant to put pen down. So there we go, pen down. Now let's try it again. And that's much better. Okay, so our pen is going through the steps, moving one step, turning one degree 360 times. But let's say you wanted to draw more than one circle and you wanted to draw it in different positions. And you also didn't want these circles to connect. You wanted them to be a separate circle here and a separate circle here. Well, let's see what we can do with that. So we keep that first piece of code. The next thing we would need to do is we would we'd need to lift up the pen because we're done drawing one circle. We don't want to make any marks between this circle and the next circle. 
So lift up the pen. And for this one, I'm simply going to change the Y by 10. Now, if you wanted to send your, your pen to any other position, you could use a go to X and Y block and you could send your pen to down here or to up here or to wherever you wanted. I just literally wanted to draw a circle and then it's gonna lift up a little bit and draw another circle. So I'm just gonna change Y by 10. The next part then is basically gonna be a replica of what we did here. Okay, so we have set the pen size and set the pen color. So I'm gonna pull this apart here for a second and I'm gonna pull this apart if I can. And I'm gonna duplicate this bit in the middle. Okay, so I've got two of those. Now I can put this back together. I can grab that one down there, put that back together. And I can take this one and bring it down to the bottom. Okay, so we can stick that on here. So pen up, it's gonna change Y by 10. Set the pen size to five. That doesn't really matter. You can you could change that if you wished. You could set the pen color to a different color. So let's, let's actually have a look at that. We'll change the pen size to four. We'll change the pen color to 30. We'll put the pen down. And this is the part where it travels around in a circle. But I want to draw a bigger circle than this circle. So what I'm gonna do is, it's still gonna have to do it 360 times. It's still gonna have to turn one degree. But in here, I'm gonna make it move 1.5 steps 1.5 steps let's see how that works so it's running through the motions on the first circle again and we're still a blue and take note of the thickness of the line here as well and there's our second one and we've changed color we've changed the thickness and as you can see we're drawing an even thicker an even thicker um or sorry not a thicker a larger circle a wider diameter circle or, or a longer radius circle so we could do that process again we could basically simply grab a hold of this duplicate take that all the way down to the bottom let's stop that for a circle for a, for a circle let's stop that for a second okay and on the second one here it'll change y by 10 again set the pen size to let's change that one to 3 let's change this one to 60 um, the 360 is fine and in here let's put in two so this is going to be an even bigger circle now we should get three circles so there's our first circle no way of speeding this pen up and here we go with our second circle we're changed to green and we're a larger diameter circle larger radius and have we got our third? Yes, and we've changed color, and we've also changed the thickness, and we've changed the diameter. So it's a different size um, circle that we're dealing with there again. So that's the first of these videos on how to draw uh, shapes in Scratch. This was circles. Tomorrow I'm going to show you a graphics um, little effect that you can use the circles for. Uh, and then we'll move on to other shapes throughout the week. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember to click like and subscribe, share the videos and come back to me every day. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.